Hello guys, in this video, I will show how to find the derivative of some trigonometric functions. So, here are the formulas for finding the derivative of sine, cosine, tangent, and other trigonometric functions. This will serve as our guide in solving the items. Let's begin. For number 1, we have f of x equals 5 cosine squared x. So its derivative is equal to, um, this is a constant times function. So which means we need to use the constant multiple rule. Uh, we simply need to copy the constant and multiply it by the derivative of the function adjacent to it. So cosine squared x can be written as cosine x squared so as you can see this is in the form u raised to n so we need to use the uh, the power rule combined with the with the chain rule in finding its derivative so that is the derivative of u raised to n is equal to n u raised to n minus 1 times derivative of u that means we need to bring down the exponent as a coefficient and subtract 1 from the exponent and multiply it by the derivative of the base. So now let's do it for cosine x squared. Bring down 2 as a coefficient. Copy the base cosine x. Subtract 1 from the exponent. So 2 minus 1 is 1 and multiply it by the derivative of the base. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. So we have negative sine x. Okay. And then close. Next, let's simplify. So 5 times 2 times negative 1 is negative 10. Then we have cosine x sine x. So this is the final answer. For example number 2, we have f of x equals x squared sine x. So this is uh, in quotient form. So which means we need to use the quotient formula. So let's recall uh, the derivative of f over g quotient is equal to uh, g times derivative of f minus f times derivative of g divided by g squared. In this given function, f is x squared and g is sine g. Uh, I'm sorry, sine x. Now, the derivative f prime of x is equal to g copy sine x multiply to the derivative of the numerator so x squared the derivative is 2x minus fj prime copy the numerator x squared and multiply to the derivative of the denominator the derivative of sine is cosine so we have times cosine x then divided by the square of the denominator. So sine squared x. Now this is equal to, let's simplify, 2x times sine x is 2x sine x. Then we have minus x squared cosine x over sine squared x. Uh, last, we need to factor out x. So x is a common factor between these two terms. So we can factor that out. So we have x times 2 sine x minus x cosine x over sine squared x. So this is the final answer. If you are not required to write the final answer in factored form, uh, this answer is also 
acceptable. Example number 3, f of x equals x squared cosecant x. Note that the given function is a product of two functions, x squared and cosecant x. So we're going to use the product rule. So uh, recall that the derivative of f times g is equal to um, f g prime, so f times the derivative of g plus g times derivative of f. So in this uh, function, f is x squared and g is cosecant x. So now the derivative is f copy x squared multiply to the derivative of g derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x cosecant x cotangent x then plus g g is cosecant and then times derivative of f derivative of x squared is 2x Next, let's simplify. So we have negative x squared cosecant x cotangent x plus uh, 2x cosecant x. Now, uh, we can write the final answer in factored form by uh, factoring out x and cosecant x, that is the GCF, x cosecant x. So divide the two terms by cosecant, by x cosecant x. So that is negative x cotangent x, then this one divided by x cosecant x is 2, so we have plus 2. So this is the final answer. For item number 4, we have f of x equals cosine square root of x. So here, uh, we're going to apply the chain rule for cosine. So since the argument of cosine is another function, so which is square root of x. So uh, using the chain rule for cosine, the derivative of cosine u is equal to negative sine u times the derivative of u, the derivative of the inner function. So now that is negative sine square root of x times derivative of square root of x. So we're going to multiply it with the derivative of square root of x. So, square root of x is equal to x raised to 1 half in power form. So, using the power rule, we're going to bring down its derivative is 1 half x raised to 1 half minus 1 is negative 1 half. But we can write this as 1 over 2 x raised to 1 half to make the exponent positive. Let's rewrite the equivalent radical form of x raised to 1 half, so which is square root of x. So the derivative of square root of x is 1 over 2 square root of x. So that's 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, uh, let's simplify. So negative sine square root of x times 1. So let's just copy this. And then for the denominator, we have 2 square root of x. So this is the final answer.